Welcome to the mini trip a journey into the world of cities. Today we will embark on an exciting journey to Sydney, one of the most amazing cities in Australia. In Sydney, you will find many amazing sites that are definitely worth a visit. First place, Sydney Opera House. The Sydney Opera House is one of the most recognizable and significant architectural landmarks in the world. Its impressive architecture, designed by Danish architect Jorn Utzon, attracts the attention of millions of tourists from all over the world. The building consists of several white sails that seem to float easily over the harbor water. Inside the Sydney Opera House, there are several theaters, including the main concert hall, which is considered one of the best music halls in the world. It is important to note that the Opera House not only serves as a venue for musical performances, but is also a symbol of the cultural and artistic life of Sydney. Second place, Sydney Harbour Bridge. The Havana Bridge is another iconic symbol of Sydney, which is called the Havana Pike because of its characteristic shape. This steel arch bridge connects Sydney city centre with the North Shore area across Sydney Harbour. You can climb the bridge by taking a walk along the top of the bridge to enjoy stunning panoramic. Views of Sydney Bay and the city. Its construction was completed in 1932, and since then the bridge has become one of the main icons of Sydney. Every year on New Year's Eve, the bridge becomes a particularly popular place to celebrate and it is bombarded with fireworks, creating an incredible spectacle. Third place, Bondi Beach. Bondi is an ideal place for lovers of sea holidays. This famous beach, located just a few kilometers from Sydney, attracts both locals and tourists with its beautiful sandy shore and excellent surfing conditions. Here you can have a great time enjoying the sun and waves or try your hand at surfing with the help. Of professional instructors, cozy cafes and restaurants are located near the beach, where you can taste Australian cuisine and enjoy fresh seafood. Fourth place, Taronga Zoo. Taronga Zoo is a unique opportunity to get acquainted with an amazing variety of Australian and world animals. The zoo is located on a hill with magnificent views of Sydney Bay. The zoo is home to more than 4,000 animals, represented by about 350 different species. You will be able to see kangaroos, koalas, dolphins, elephants, penguins, and many other amazing creatures. In addition, Taronga Zoo is actively involved in environmental protection and conducts important programs for the conservation and research of the animal world. Fifth place, Royal Botanic Garden. This beautiful and well-maintained botanical garden offers a secluded retreat in the heart of Sydney. The park was founded in the early 19th century and has since become a popular place for walks, picnics, and enjoying nature. Inside the garden, you will find a unique collection of Australian and exotic plants, ponds, fountains, and sculptures. An important feature of the garden is its support for the restoration and protection of biodiversity, which makes it a unique place to explore the flora of Australia. Sixth place, Darling Harbour. Darling Harbour is a picturesque quarter located on the shore of Sydney Bay. This place offers a variety of entertainment and activities for all ages. Here you can visit the Sea Life Sydney Aquarium where you will plunge into the underwater world inhabited by sea creatures of different species. The Wildlife Sydney Museum will offer you to get acquainted with the amazing world of Australian. Fauna, there are cafes, restaurants, shops, and an outdoor recreation park around Darling Harbour. Seventh place, The Rocks. The Rocks is a historic district that is the cradle of Sydney. It is one of the oldest habitats of the first European settlers in Australia. Today in the rocks you will find cozy cafes, galleries, craft shops, and street markets. In addition, various festivals and events are often held here. Walking through the narrow streets and squares, you will be able to feel the spirit of antiquity and learn historical facts related to the birth of the city. Eighth place Art Gallery of New South Wales the Art Gallery of New South Wales presents a rich collection of works of art from different eras and styles. In the gallery you will find works by Australian artists as well as world masters, including paintings, sculptures, photographs and decorative art. This place is great for art lovers who want to enjoy the works of artists from different eras and 
Cultures, 9th place Featherdale Wildlife Park. The Fetterdale Wildlife Park offers a unique opportunity to experience the rich diversity of Australian fauna in its natural habitat. Unlike traditional zoos, Featherdale Wildlife Park animals live in spacious enclosures, which allows you to observe them in the natural environment of their behavior. Here you can feed and pet kangaroos, sea koalas, and many other amazing Australian animals. 10th place Luna Park Sydney Luna Park Sydney is the oldest amusement park in Australia. Founded in 1935, it is located on the shore of Sydney Bay and is a popular place for family entertainment and recreation. The park offers a variety of attractions and an atmosphere of retro entertainment. You can take a ride on the Ferris wheel, experience slides and rides, or just enjoy panoramic views of Sydney Bay. Sydney is a city that combines modern achievements and historical heritage, stunning nature and unique culture. We hope that our journey through this beautiful city will leave you with an unforgettable experience. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and put likes to stay up to date with all our new trips too. Cities and their exciting attractions and good luck.